Hello, Coach Luis here with one more basement volleyball fundamentals. These sessions will help you to learn, optimize and maximize your volleyball skills. Today's video, I would like to help you how to effectively maximize your hitting power. Hitting well makes your teammates and crowds cheer up, right? So, I'm going to talk about some hints that will make you realize things quicker instead of spending time to figure it out. Three hints we are going to review today. Reaching high, top spin, and use your wrist. Okay, let's do it. Now let's talk about top spin or Magnus effect. This effect produces a downward swerve force greater than gravity, making the ball fall quicker. Therefore, make it more difficult for the defense to dig to it. How do you do this? Have your wrist relaxed, your hands opened, and when you make the contact with the ball in the highest point, you reach the equator or the center of the ball and rotate up, making sure that the ball, when it goes out of your hand, goes spinning. Got it? One way to improve your hit power is to properly to reach the ball as high as you can. Most of players don't take advantage of this and hit too low. Uh, instead of um, have your shoulders move up and engage in maximizing the contact point uh, with the ball. So a way of simulating that is to try to reach something on top of a cabinet. Let me show you. So, normal hit without engage your shoulder up. Now engage uh, your shoulder uh, up and dropping the other shoulders down. You can see that you can reach much higher. And if you practice that, I can guarantee the results you're going to like it next time you hit the ball. When you're ready to hit the ball, you engage, left hand up, it's very important. Your elbows here. Now you're going to reach as high as you can, go up on the top of the ball, a nice rotate snap, and follow through diagonally, not straight down. So, and also with your left hand, you push your left hand as quick as you can down so you increase the leverage to maximize your power So let me suggest you one way to practice top spin at your home. First of all, don't forget to leave your hands open wide, wrist loose, and when you try to reach the ball as high as you can, remember to move your shoulder up. So and contact the ball in the equator and move it towards the top. And then you're going to see the ball spinning out of your hand. Cut the ball means, instead of reaching on top of the ball like this way, you're going to move the hands to the side of the ball and snap towards the cross court. So instead of getting the here, you're going to reach here, uh, the ball on top, okay? And the ball goes cross court. This is a very effective way because your blockers are looking at your shoulders in front of you. And then you're going to have a clear path across the court. I'm going to show you how to exercise 
your wrist to you have to maximize your top spin. Have a water bottle, hold, sit in a chair, put the chair in, another chair in front of you, some towel on it, hold the bottle and move up and down, sideways and rotate. Also this way helps. Don't forget to exercise the other hand as well. Practice this a few times during off season and you can have a very nice and strong wrist. Another way to strengthen your wrist is to buy a device like this. It has some spring and when you put it on, you stretch your arm and try to spike the ball or give it a nice snap. Try to stretch your entire body as much as you can. me that is the set and the hit i would do oh, nights